guys 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 <laughs> I got my braces off and I'm obsessed <laughs> oh my gosh they look so good um, it doesn't feel like they're my teeth still um, I'm still trying to get used to it like but oh my gosh they look amazing And the top row was always, I mean, wow. The bottom row was always good, but it was the top row that had the uh, the crossbite on it. And now look at it. Not do a close up. They look so good. And I didn't get any of that like discoloration on my teeth either, like those uh, spots. So my hygiene routine was uh, on point and I also made sure to do my regular dentist checkups while I was in braces. So that helped. Um, so I'm going to talk about the removal process. It literally took like two minutes. <laughs> all she, all the um, the technician did was take a tool, kind of snap them off, and the whole row came off in one piece. Same thing with the bottom. And then she used this tool to uh to kind of saw down the glue, I guess you could say. But wow, I did not think. My teeth could look like this. <laughs> Even with braces on, it's kind of hard to tell how your teeth will look because there's like this large piece of metal in the way, but I'm amazed. I love it. One thing that I was talking about in my last video was that my midline was off and it is off still. So let me show you that. <laughs> So it is off, but only slightly. I, I believe that the only way that I could get my midline to be centered would be to like somehow actually physically move this part of my jaw over. So like that, which that would require like some major jaw surgery, which Honestly, I'm not sure if it would be worth it for me to undergo such a surgery at this time. I feel like right now I'm okay with the way it looks now. I'm, I actually love the way my teeth look now. So I don't think that that is a route that I would take at this time anyways. Um, what else? So I don't have my retainers yet. I go back later today to get my retainers. Um, I believe I'm going to get a permanent one put in place on the bottom and on the top I'll have the removable one. But if I could get a permanent one on the top and bottom that would be freaking great. <laughs> so I don't have to like worry about you know putting it in or losing it and stuff like that. Um, what else? I don't know I just love my teeth. I really was worried about having discoloration, but everything looks good. So now that my braces are off, the next time I go see my dentist, which probably won't be until next year at this point, um, I'm going to get my teeth whitened. They don't look like hella yellow. They, they look natural. So... Oh my gosh I'm in love with my teeth <laughs> so all the money all of the not eating certain foods was worth it because my teeth look great and I really didn't have any setbacks along my braces journey um like I said in my last video um I had two instances where brackets popped off so the first instance was the first time I got my braces put on um, some of the glue didn't stay on so some of my brackets popped off like on the first day just on their own and then the second time I had an incident was when I was eating something I wasn't supposed to and I had something pop out so after that happened 
I stopped eating things that I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> so, um, since I was paying out of pocket, it was a lot easier for me to not have to eat. I mean, it was a lot easier for me to not eat stuff I wasn't supposed to because I knew, knew that this money was coming out of my pocket. And if I prolonged my treatment, that money would also be coming out of my pocket. <laughs> so, yeah. So um, after I got my braces off, I took a bunch of x-rays. I got my teeth scanned. I took pictures, which hopefully I will get a before and after photo just because going through photos that I had I would always try to camouflage my crossbite or I would just smile with my mouth closed so I really don't have too many pictures of me smiling where you can see my actual crossbite unfortunately um, so hopefully I'll get a before and after something so I can show you guys later on and later on I will also show you guys my retainers and tell you about you know what they told me to do with that um in terms of hygiene and keeping your teeth clean and stuff like that i do have a video on what i used during my braces journey and i had my braces on for two years um actually a little bit over two years so 24 months and a few days so and this is how my teeth look i don't have any gum issues I didn't have to get my gums altered at, at all. In terms of cavities, I did have cavities um, on my wisdom tooth. This one. I, I believe that's it. I don't want my wisdom teeth removed if they don't have to be. So if I start seeing a bunch of problems with them in the future, then yes, I'll have them removed. But according to my orthodontist i mean if they're not causing me any problems i didn't really need them removed so one thing my orthodontist did say at the beginning when i first got my braces on was that if the crossbite was not corrected with just the braces on their own i would have had to get jaw surgery but luckily my braces were able to correct my crossbite on their own as you can see. <laughs> so after I took all my pictures and everything, I got a bag of candy. Like this is good candy. This is like a whole thing of Starburst. I would eat these anyways. Not with the almonds on in it though. Just ones that I could like suck on and you know, didn't really have to chew into. Skittles, I would eat Skittles still. Twix, definitely I would stay away from caramel, especially if you're not good about flossing and brushing your teeth because caramel really gets stuck in your teeth. Snickers, oh. and the Nims with the peanuts. Baby collars. So stuff like this, this is not something I would have eaten with my braces on because whew, that can get stuck. And something like this that really like when you bite into it, it kind of sticks to your teeth. This is not something that I would eat with my braces on either. So I'm really glad that um, I can eat this kind of stuff now. I'm not going to overdo it because I don't want any cavities. One thing that I do need to find, the whole time I had braces in, I did not eat popcorn. So I'm on a hunt for popcorn. Popcorn. <laughs> I am going to eat popcorn today. Okay. So yeah, um, I'm going to eat this as, as well because I can. <laughs> Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later when I get my um, retainers placed, and I'll tell you how that goes. I'll see you later. So I actually had a mold done on the top and bottom rows of my teeth, and then I had to come back to the orthodontist a few hours later to make sure that they fit properly. So basically, all I do is take it and pop it in. And the bottom one, 
it's usually very easy to put in it's the top one that's a little more difficult i guess it has to do with the shape of my top teeth i'm not sure but yeah i just pop them in as you can see it's harder to put in all right there you go one thing that I was a little bit concerned about when I first had them put in was that so I know. okay one thing that I was concerned about when I first put them had them put in was that I couldn't close my teeth down all the way so this is the farthest I can close my teeth down it used to be way worse when I first got them put in it was like this it was like I was like okay are my teeth gonna be stuck like that forever but I feel like over time, I will be able to close my teeth down all the way. And this is just a way to make sure that my teeth don't shift back to the way that they were, which I don't want them to shift back to the way that they were before. So I'm fine with that. Obviously, as you can tell, I'm still not used to these being, my, being in my mouth. I still do speak with a lisp, um, but I know that over time I will be able to speak normally with these in my mouth so I'm not worried about it um, so the only thing that I can drink with these in is water and of course if I want to eat anything or drink something like juice or something I would have to take them out um, I was given the instruction to wear these for at least 12 hours per day which is pretty easy I've read in other cases that people have to wear them for 24 hours for the first year. So even though I'm only required to wear these for 12 hours per day, I do only take them out to eat. So um, after the first year, I guess I'll just make sure I sleep with them in. But I really want to make sure that my teeth don't shift back. So I'm going to keep these in. As much as I can for the first year and then after that I'll do the only sleeping with them um, so yeah um, these are my teeth with the retainers in so yes I still love my teeth I'm still obsessed with my teeth <laughs> I love the way they look and in terms of my midline I'm still not sure what I'm going to do about that I'm going to do some research on it and if it would require jaw surgery I'm really going to have to take serious I'm going to have to take some serious time to really think about if it's gonna be worth it or not but we'll see so when I have these clear retainers in my midline it's a little more in line than it is when I don't have them in so this is my teeth and my midline with with the retainers in all right so hopefully you guys can see this let me zoom in not out in So my midline is like almost in the middle of my other tooth which looks a little weird but most people smile only with their top teeth showing anyways so it's just something I have to think about and honestly my orthodontist said that if there's anything I want to tweak then I can so we'll see if that's something he can fix or if I'm going to have to go see a surgeon. But anyways, that is the end of this video. If you guys have any questions, like I said, please drop them below. Um, if you want to see more videos from me, please comment, like, and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!